Hello and welcome to a new video. So today I'm going to be doing another haul. I know you guys love them and I like making them too. I've got quite a few new items just because it's sale season and even though not many of the things I got are actually on sale, all the new arrivals are starting to come into the stores as well. So that's kind of mainly what I've been purchasing but I do have some sale pieces and I will definitely show you those as well. I have a lot of things to show you guys, so let's just get started right away. The first thing is from Cartier. I actually don't know what's in here, but the thing is, is every year for my birthday, which was last month, I get something from Cartier. It's kind of like the tradition for, I think, the past seven years, I get a bracelet from Cartier. And this year, I got my birthday present a little bit later because my birthday was actually um, in November but I was in no rush I was so busy traveling and everything so it was all fine and my Cartier people are like family and they gave me this gift which is really really heavy and I have not opened it yet because I've been waiting to do it for this video so we can open it together and there is a card so let's see what this card says dear Jamie happy birthday wishing you all the best have another fabulous year, my best. And it has a cute little heart on it. And let's see what's inside here. Oh wow, I'm not sure what this is, but it's like a giant panther so cartier is like known for the panther that's their logo and this is like a huge box i'm not sure what this Ooh. okay let's try to open this this is like a beautiful jewelry case I can definitely use something like this and now I'll just put all of my Cartier into here so if you can see inside it has slots for rings and earrings I think bracelets necklaces and I think there's a second layer underneath it's just like a plain big slot where you can put some necklaces or your bracelets and things like that but this is so beautiful and such a thoughtful little gift. So thank you so much to them because I'll definitely be using this. And I love the giant panther on the front. And now let's open my actual birthday gift. I know what's in here, but I'm still excited to show you guys. So they always do this like Cartier stamp for their wrapping. And oh, I'm not very good at opening these gifts. Clearly, this is not working so well. Okay. Here it is. Inside is a beautiful love bracelet. So what I got is this gorgeous diamond pave love bracelet in 18 karat white gold. I have the rose gold one that I got last year. And now I have the white gold one, and the white gold one has diamonds on the nail hinges. This is so perfect for my collection. So like I said, every year I get Cartier because it's kind of like the tradition for my birthday. It's Cartier, Cartier, Cartier. Soon I'm going to run out of stuff to get from them because I'll have all their bracelets. This bracelet will be such a great addition to my collection and like my stack. Let's try it on. These love bracelets, the one with the diamonds on them, they don't use a screwdriver to put them on. They actually have a clasp on the side. You just flip it open and then you press on one of the diamonds and then it opens up, which is so much easier than the ones with the screwdriver because I have one of those and if you lose the screwdriver, you're kind of screwed. Just open it and then you can just clip it on like this and close it. So this is what it looks like and I think it's so beautiful and so easy to stack I really like these bracelets because they you can wear them any time of day with anything and you can wear multiple of them and with other Cartier bracelets or any other jewelry that you have because they stack perfectly and they add like a little touch of bling without being too much 
And now let's get on to all the other stuff. We are going to start with Chanel. I got a lot of Chanel ready to wear and earrings. And let's do all the earrings first. Here are all the earrings that I got. I know it's like one, two, three, four, five. Five pairs of earrings. First pair is this one that let's see Ooh, this is one of my favorites and this is part of the new collection this pair is very cool because they look like they're vintage like a chanel what are they called like one of those um tag things like you put on like a tag necklace or something like a dog tag that's the word i'm looking for and these ones are post back because chanel makes a lot of clip-on earrings too and I personally prefer the ones with the post back just because clip earrings sometimes give me a little bit of a headache and I always have a fear of them falling off and I just like how they have a vintage look to them because everything vintage is kind of coming back now in fashion. So that's the first pair and now this next pair is one that I got and I missed out on these so I was really lucky to find them because this is from the previous collection but Chanel never really get rid of stuff that is from a past season so you'll get lucky if you missed out on a piece that you wanted from a previous season from Chanel this is from the Egypt collection they're black and gold and I think they'll go with cool blouses or any like off the shoulder shirts black tops or like they're such a statement and I love the big CC's to them okay that's two and now the next one is I don't know what's in here either actually so this pair I'm sure you guys have seen this is that Chanel pair of earrings that everyone has this is the crystal one so what happened was I got the gold pair the plate the one there's two versions of these earrings there's one that is all gold and there's no crystal diamonds on them and they're actually a little bit smaller so I got those right when they came out and I also wanted these crystal ones except for they were sold out like I missed out on them and I was really sad and I wasn't gonna go buy them on like eBay or something for like five thousand dollars but then one day one of my friends that is also like very into shopping he told me he was like jamie they're coming out with these earrings again he's like you need to go to the store and ask your salesperson about them and blah 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 and i'm like okay so i texted my salesperson and turns out that he was right and that they did receive like four or five more pairs of these so of course i got myself a pair and i've worn the plain gold pair so many times and this pair is a bit more dressy which I like because it can be suitable for evening more than the gold pair which is I think better for every day but now I have two versions of them which is cool so I'm really glad I got these and now on to the fourth pair of earrings this one is um, another CC pair it has crystal and pearl embellishments. It's kind of a similar style to that black and gold one from the Egypt collection. Crystals and pearls are so classic for Chanel. And these earrings come, this one I got is a post back, but I know they also come with a clip on one if you don't have piercings. Okay, and that's the fourth pair. And the last pair of earrings are these little hoop ones. And it's just a simple pair of hoop earrings and they go on like this so you'll see the CC from the side like that. And I got these because I don't know if you've seen the Louis Vuitton ones. Louis Vuitton has these gold ones with like an LV in there and I've worn those earrings so many times since I got them. I find that they go with everything and I saw these Chanel ones which is a very similar style so I had to get them because... I, I think I'll get so much wear out of this as well. That is the last pair of Chanel earrings. And now I want to show you some of the Chanel ready to wear because they have been killing it in their ready to wear. Like so many cool new clothes, jackets and sweaters and leggings, t-shirts, all that. So first thing is these leggings. Now these leggings were really difficult to get because everybody wanted them. Here they are. It's like a plain black legging and they're like long and it's like a scuba kind of texture material. It's really soft and it's super stretchy so they fit 
really tightly around your legs and if you look up close they're like embellished with like these chanel little stickers that form the cc's and the number five letters that spell out chanel these are super comfortable i think you can style that easily with a black sweater or with some boots and these leggings i'm going to wear so often this winter and into even the springtime and stuff just because they are so cute and versatile and i can't wait to style them so make sure you're following me on instagram so you can see how i wear them and all these other purchases that i make also and i also got this beautiful purple chanel cardigan the material feels kind of like a towel i know that sounds weird and not very um appealing it's kind of soft and i mean i don't mind it it's not my favorite material but i really like this color and the design and it has a chain trim with buttons that go down the front and the back is just plain like this this is i think just such a casual easy to wear sweater I'll probably layer it with like some brown trousers or like a brown turtleneck or something like that, a beige turtleneck. I don't really know. I'll have to maybe make a video on how I style all these pieces. And to be honest, I don't have that many Chanel sweaters because not until recently did they start making their clothes younger and fresher and not so, um, if you want to put it like for your grandma, if that makes any sense. Like Chanel ready to wear has always kind of been a bit old for me until lately i think the past two three collections have been really really good and very wearable for people that are younger that's why now i'm like stocking up on all the chanel clothes so that's it for the chanel and the next thing is louis vuitton so louis vuitton is one of my favorite brands and i saw this show when i was in paris during paris fashion week in was it february yeah february paris fashion week and there were so many amazing pieces that went down that runway and i knew when it hit stores everyone would love it and i loved it and it's just a very good collection oh wait before we get on to louis vuitton i just forgot i have a chanel t-shirt this is actually like the best t-shirt ever that I forgot because it was inside this white bag so it blended in with um, the bed and I didn't see it until just now and this t-shirt okay I don't really want to tell you the price because it's really ridiculous but this t-shirt okay I'll tell you it it was two thousand it was twenty seven hundred dollars only for Chanel do we pay almost $3,000 after tax for a t-shirt. This is the t-shirt. It has this beautiful Chanel logos all throughout. Like, um, for example, like right here. And it spells out Chanel. It's like the same as those leggings. And it comes in black and in white. But the white is a bit of an off-white color. And I do have a lot of white t-shirts, so I went for the black one, even though I did want two of them. But there's no way I'm going to be spending $6,000 on two t-shirts. That's crazy, even for me. So I went with the black. And yeah, so okay, this is the last Chanel piece. I forgot, sorry. Now on to Louis Vuitton. So the first Louis Vuitton is this beautiful jacket this is just like a nice casual hoodie jacket it has like a hoodie hat and this brown and like white whatever chevron stripes that go through it and then the logo all throughout the bottom and the back looks like this it's kind of like the same it has all the logo throughout on the top and there's matching jogger pants to them but i'm still trying to find them in my size because all the small sizes are sold out but i did get the hoodie and this is just going to be so nice to travel in and just wear all day long at home or something like that and i also got this amazing t-shirt tank top t-shirt whatever you want to call it it has the louis vuitton the like new kind of logo and it has cool two zippers on the sides of the neck when i tried it on it looks cool to wear the 
t-shirt unzip or you can zip up both sides and it'll be like very tight around your neck right now it's a bit too cold to be wearing it you know in the winter alone so i could layer it with like a blazer over or something like that but definitely when it gets warmer here this will be really nice worn alone with some leather shorts or something so more louis vuitton Remember I told you guys that I love mini bags? Well, Louis Vuitton has mini bags too, and of course I had to get them. So here is my first little mini Louis Vuitton bag. This is called the Hat Box, and I have the bigger version of this as well, which is right here in front of me that I'll show you guys, because it looks so cute together. It's like the Bottega bag that I did, the big one and the tiny one. So here is the big one, and here is the tiny one. How adorable. And this one comes with a chain strap inside. So you can clip it on to the sides of this bag and you can carry it crossbody or something. And I think I'm gonna carry them together during fashion month in February. I'm definitely gonna be taking these two bags with me. And then you have two. So cute, it's like a baby and a mom. So yeah, this is my hat box bags. And the, I got another tiny little bag, and this one I don't have the bigger version in. I don't think they actually make a bigger version in this, but I could be wrong. This one is like a little monogram trunk. I have, it looks like a petite mall, which I do have a petite mall, but this doesn't really look like a petite mall, so if you call the bigger version a petite mall, I wouldn't say it's the same thing because it's kind of different. And both of these bags come with like their opposites. Like see, this is the reverse monogram. So it comes with a regular monogram. So it's like the brown and it has like the black trim. And this one comes in a reverse monogram, which is the light brown with the dark brown. This one also comes with a strap inside, like a long one, just like the other bag that you can carry crossbody or you can just hold it. And I've carried this one actually a few times already. And I really like it and everyone loves it. They think it's so cute because these bags, I know they're not very practical and you literally don't put anything inside. Like when I carry them, I don't put anything inside these. I just carry my phone separately and then that's it really. And I just stuff my credit cards inside the back of my phone. You just kind of carry these as just like an accessory. And the last Louis Vuitton bag is this one. And this is like one of their newer styles. It's kind of like a crossbody and can be a shoulder bag also. Or I guess you could carry it as a clutch just like this. And the strap for this bag is inside here. And you can just put it onto the two sides. There's also something I know you can do with the strap to make it longer. I just don't remember how to do it. And honestly, I don't really care to because I never really carry my bags like super long. So you can just carry this one like that. And, or you can, I guess, like sling it across your shoulder and have it be a very short crossbody. Or you can carry it as a clutch. All right, so that is all the Louis Vuitton stuff. And now I want to show you some Prada shoes. The first pair is from Saks. I saw these at the store in Beverly Hills and they have a nude pair and also this black color but I thought the black one looked nicer but I'll link the nude one down below too if you guys want to check it out. So this is the black pair and they are mules. So I love mules because they're just so easy to wear and put on and this one is not a very high heel either so they're pretty comfortable and it has this beautiful blue and white like crystals with this black bow and it's like satin material i really like mules just because they're so easy to wear and there's no laces or buckles involved you literally just slide your foot right in and done so that's the first pair and the other pair of prada shoes are these that are super popular i'm sure you've seen them i got these beautiful crystal ones and i was thinking of getting either this color or the red color or there was a blue color but I ultimately went with this silver white one because I think it will go with so many more outfits than like a red pair and I thought the red one looked very Dorothy from that movie I don't know if I can't remember the name of the movie the one with that like wizard I love anything that sparkles and this shoe is basically all sparkly this pair was actually on sale too 
and I think a few of the other colors were also on sale. I'm usually I'm not a fan of ankle strap shoes. That's why I didn't initially get them right when they came out because I was thinking, I was like, hmm, do I really like these because they have an ankle strap? Because I think they cut the leg short and they make your legs just look shorter. But these were on sale, so I was like, why not? I decided to go for them and I'm really glad I did. That's all that I got from Prada. And now I want to show you, ooh, these really cool pants. These pants are super cool and really fun, and I'm going to take them to Fashion Week for sure. So it's this beautiful green color. All I need is like a red sweater and I'm ready for Christmas. It's like a very Christmassy green. And the best part is the side is all covered in like this diamond crisscross crystal design when you walk it'll be so cool because these will be like dangling and i also want to show you some earrings from Mugler. so these earrings are a little bit on the wilder side but i love a statement earring i saw these online and i was like oh my god they're so cool this is what they look like spiky crystal earring and it kind of goes all the way around and onto the bottom like this i cannot wait to wear these with a simple top because they're such a statement it's like a very fun hoop earring and then also i got a necklace i've been looking for a really nice chunky chain kind of choker ish necklace not choker but not like a long one like kind of right around your neck and I came across this from Paco Rabanne and I ordered it and it's just the perfect, perfect chunky chain necklace. So if you're looking for one, I highly recommend this necklace. I'm not sure what you call this color, but it's kind of like a brushed gold tone with silver tones in it. So it's not gold and it's not silver, it's like in between the two colors. Which I think is perfect because that makes it go with gold and silver looks and this is how you put it on it just has this clasp which says Paco Rabanne on it and then you just put it through this one and that's it and I also got an amazing pair of boots from Nicholas Kirkwood I don't actually own any Nicholas Kirkwood shoes because the brand is just not very popular here in California I can't really think of any stores that carry him I think you can only get his stuff from online which is where I saw these. These boots, oh, they're heavy. These boots are a style that I wouldn't usually go for, but I still went for them just because I love it so much and the design is so unique. It's an over the knee style, which is something that I don't usually wear. Like if you scroll through my Instagram, you'll see that I don't really wear any over the knee boots. I don't think there's actually a single picture of me in over the knee boots. I do wear like knee-high boots, but over the knee, I feel like that was maybe like three, four years ago when everyone was wearing those Stuart Weitzman boots, if you know what I'm talking about. Now I came across this pair and I was like, I think I'm going to go back into over the knee boots. The heel is the best part. Look at the heel. It is like this cutout um, geometrical shape with a pearl stuck in between. and. I think this is just so cool and fun and edgy. It's suede and the way you put it on, it has a small zipper right here. So you just unzip it and then it gives enough space for your foot to slide in. And it fits really nicely around your leg. I don't like boots that are all loose unless they're supposed to be loose because then it makes your leg look fatter because it adds inches around your leg when it's not supposed to be there. And I saw also online that he made many other boots that are with this kind of heel. So I'll link them down below so you can check them out. There's like an ankle boot version if you don't want an over the knee boot. Or I think there's also a sandal version and an open toe version and like a mule version. So there's a lot of cool styles with this shape heel. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did, please like, comment and subscribe because I'll be uploading more videos and also don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I always post photos of me styling all the pieces there and I will see you on the next one. Bye!